Oh, all right. What is good, everybody? Richie here. <laughs> Welcome to the Ridiculous Richie Show. <sighs> you know, the problem, I think, is... Uh, <laughs> the problem is... <sighs> a lot of you don't drink any water. Yeah. Y'all drinking too much soda. Soda's fine and all, but it's not that great for you. So let's dive into today's topic on the Ridiculous Richie Show. Why, why is it that human beings, especially here in America, are so quick to give up and quit? I have a theory. It's because we're lazy. We're lazy and we have no self-discipline. You don't have any self-discipline. Not a single drop of self-discipline. Because... You already quit your New Year's resolution. I'd be willing to bet out of the 25 people that are going to watch this video, more than half of you already quit your New Year's resolution. And it's because you're lazy. And while we're on this topic of being lazy... I'm also going to take shots of my own self. I have also been extremely lazy this year. We are all guilty of it. The human mind quits because we don't have any self-discipline. If you don't take yourself seriously... If you don't eat healthier, if you don't take care of your own mind, if you don't take care of your own body, how the fuck is anybody going to give you respect? Motherfucker, you don't even respect yourself. You don't care about yourself. You don't love yourself. You let yourself get out of shape. You let yourself go. You stopped your New Year's resolution. Time is against us. There are only 86,400 seconds in a day. And when you get up, <laughs> when you fucking get up at 10 o'clock, 10 30, 11, time is way against you your whole day is gone we quit and we're gonna keep quitting because it's in our nature to quit What separates me from a lot of people is I don't quit. I just take little breaks. Does that make me better than you? No. You have to start 
somewhere. And you have to take baby steps. The problem, one of the problems is, is that when you say you're going to do something, you think of the whole, the whole fucking picture in one go. And then you try to tackle it all in one shot. You say, oh, I want to lose 10 pounds. You work out for two weeks. (laughs) <laughs> you've been getting up early you know 7 a.m 8 a.m <sighs> and then you look in the mirror and you haven't lost the amount of weight that you wanted you don't see any change <sighs> so next day that alarm clock goes off 7 a.m 8 a.m. Fuck, let's say 4 (laughs) a.m. And you're just sitting there. Rocking back and forth like a... (laughs) You're just rocking back and forth like one of those... uh, Like a dude in a straitjacket in an insane asylum. You're just like, oh, I can't do it. I'm gonna go crazy. I can't do it. I can't do this anymore. I'm so... I can't do it. And then you go... Then you go to the store. And you buy the birthday cake Oreos. And you eat a whole box of birthday cake Oreos. (laughs) And a milkshake. Go to Steak and Shake and get you one of them giant Butterfinger milkshakes. (sighs) And you quit. Right before you're about to lose your third pound, your fourth pound. See, the problem is you're lazy. And now, and just so you guys know, the 25 people that are going to watch this video, I'm not just talking to you. I'm also talking to me. You're lazy. You don't want it bad enough. See, the thing is, is I never quit. I, like I said, I just take breaks. Little breaks. But I keep going. Because there's only one way to go. Up. But you have to respect yourself. You have to take yourself seriously. You have to love yourself. You have to trust yourself. You don't believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, how the hell is anybody going to believe in you? You don't love yourself. Nobody's going to love you. You don't care about yourself. Do you think anybody's going to give a shit about you? (sighs) Oh, my God. No. No. Nobody's going to. Stop making it so difficult. Stop making it so difficult on yourself. Just take one little baby step at a time. With whatever you're doing. Everybody tries to do everything so fucking fast. Everybody does. And you're sitting there by yourself. And you're so scared. So scared. To try to be by yourself. You're terrified. Absolutely Mortified to be alone for a few minutes. Try to process and tear down who you actually are as a human being. Get to the root of the problem. Sometimes you got to go fucking dark. Sometimes you got to just really just dig into... 
the depths of your own mind when nobody's there, nobody's watching. Fucking, if it helps you, cry. Cry by yourself. Nobody's going to fucking see you do it. If you live by yourself, cry. Get it out. Just fucking let it all out. Then later on, you're going to be like, why was I acting like a little bitch? Just so you know, when I say bitch, it's not gender specific. You need self-discipline. You need to love yourself, respect yourself, know yourself, take care of yourself, trust yourself, believe in yourself. If you don't if you don't do any of those things, how are you going to expect the universe to reciprocate it to you? You don't care about yourself, nobody's going to give a shit about you. Nobody. And that's the problem is you're so scared to try to care about yourself. Because, I don't know, are you afraid? Are you afraid of who you might find out who you are? Does that terrify you so much? I don't know, man. As much as I want to talk about other things, I just can't bring myself to do it. I can't. I cannot stomach trying to sit down in front of this camera and talk about video games anymore. I can't fucking do it. And I'm not going to do it until I actually want to. I like video games, man, but lately I just can't bring myself to talk about it. It's just not fun. This is more entertaining to me. And you see, my views have dropped dramatically. But at the end of the day, that shit don't fucking matter. Because the real ones are going to watch. You need self-discipline. You need self-control. You need to take yourself seriously. If you complain, you are always, you are always going to stay the same. Nobody believes in you because you don't fucking believe in yourself. Nobody believes in you because you don't believe in yourself. Life doesn't have to be so hard. You don't have to make it so difficult. Just go out and start somewhere. Go read a book. Stop watching Netflix and Hulu and, I don't know, Sling TV and whatever other stupid, uh, Disney Plus, all this, all this bullshit and just taking in all of this useless content. <laughs> Yo, that's pretty funny. I lost myself there. Go outside and touch some grass. <laughs> Go outside. Take your shoes off. Take your socks off. And touch some grass. At the end of the day, 
when you lay down at night, and I don't care if you're <clears throat> if you have a wife, a husband, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a prostitute, I don't care if whatever. Whoever you lay down next to at night, you you to be honest, you only have really you. You have to deal with you. At the end of the day, no matter where you go, no matter how far you run, no matter where you try to hide, you are going to still be there. If you don't love yourself and respect yourself and care about yourself and trust yourself and believe in yourself, That means you don't know who the fuck you are. And that's really... That's just sad. Drink more water. Read a book. Go outside and meditate. Stop watching so much fucking TV. Stop worrying about what the world's doing. Who gives a shit what somebody, who gives a shit that somebody right now is in Bali and they posted it on Instagram? You're not. Make the most of the present moment right now. Stop giving up every time something doesn't go your way. If you complain, if you complain, you're always going to stay the same. Drink some more water. I'm gone. <laughs>